<laughs> Welcome to my garage. Today, me and Kaisa, we're gonna go ski tour up in the resort and we are gonna show you what to bring, what we have in our backpack. We have some essential stuff that we really need. Yeah, so the essential stuff for safety is the shovel, the probe and a beacon. And then for walking up, you also need the skins. And then we can also show you what we have with us in our backpacks to make it a little bit more comfortable and... Okay, so I have a lot of stuff in my backpack. Sunglasses, GoPro, lamp or GoPro, extra SD card, contact lenses, because I always forget to put them in in the morning. Um, spoon, food, water, uh, if I do something with my knee or feet. Snacks, extra lens for the goggles, heating blanket, first aid kit, um, headlamp, GoPro stuff, um, heli straps, extra balacovas, um, extra gloves for liners, and then the essentials. So that's what's in our bags. And then as we're going ski touring there, I have a lot of layers on, different ones, I have four. So uh, wool base layer, uh, fleece, mid layer, uh, down jacket, and then my chill jacket. Uh, and on my legs I have two layers, wool and then a fleece pants and all three shell pants as well. Yeah, and it's really nice to have all those layers because when you're walking you get warm, it could be some wind and you get cold again. So it's good to be able to adjust by just taking off one or two layers instead of having a really thick jacket and nothing else. Yeah. So that's why you have that layering system. Yeah, so you can adapt. So everything is packed, let's head out. Yeah. Let's head up to the mountain. All right. Did you bring your rope? Yeah. Today we're planning to go close to the resort but as you know, you should always check the weather forecast, the avalanche forecast. And it's good to tell a friend where you're going and when you're planning to be back. So now we're putting the skins on uh, for the uphill climb. And make sure your skis are kind of clean. Because if, if they're not, it would be hard to put the skins on a couple of times if you're going for, for more than one lap. So you put the top on and then you make sure that your edges are seen. You want to keep your edges clean so you get the grip. Yeah. After putting on the skins, uh, we put the bindings into walk mode. Boom. There we go. Make sure you have both bindings into ski mode, not walk mode. <laughs> <laughs> so after you put the bindings into walk mode, you put your boots into walk mode. There are different ways of doing it, but this one you just fold it up. I like to have my boots loose, so it's easy walking and you can, you get a good angle of your walking so you can take longer steps with less energy. And you are on. So I'm gonna take this puffy jacket off and underneath I have a, it's like a, a fleece with a shell on it. It's really breathable. And that's the only thing I wear over my base layer when going uphill. Yeah, so I'm not sweating. Don't sweat it. Today we're walking a pretty mellow tour in the side country, but still there could be some small steep pitches that could potentially slide. So you want to keep walking on the ridges, stay away from steeper parts. Yeah, look what you have above you and uh, make it safe. To save energy, you don't walk straight up the faces. You walk in a diagonal, traversing up. You don't want to get too tired. So zigzagging up is, is the best because you want some juice left in your legs on the downhill. Slide. 
So when walking up, I try to stay as efficient as I can. So I'm not lifting my knees here because then I need to like carry my skis in every step. So really like try to glide. That's my number one thing that I think about every time I walk. Now we talked about those diagonal and when you get to the end of the open path or whatever, you have to do that turn. How do you do the turn? Go like this and then I really try to kick my front leg forward. That makes it easier to get the ski around than just like trying to turn it. So you want to kick it forward and then twist. That's the trick I've learned. And then you want to place your pole here so you can get the, get the good balance. And you want to place your other pole kind of wide apart so you get your ski in here. Boom. And then you can just do it like that. Boom. Ready. <laughs> As soon as you get on the top, you're gonna get cool. So you wanna put on the, the warm layers first before you're fixing with your skis. Yeah. So before you take your skins off, make sure to put your brakes down because if you lose a ski, you don't want it to go all the way. Then you've been walking up for nothing. So make sure they go down. Boom, there we go. When I take off the skins, uh, the tip is to drag it halfway and then fold it once. So this stack up good in my back. And I put off that second half and fold that one in two as well. On days like these, when it's minus 15, minus 20 degrees. You tend to forget to drink and you need to drink water a lot. Like that's how I drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. If you don't do it, if you forget your um, walk mode up, you will not have a good time down. Shoof, mount down, make sure it's tight and then put it on your boot. Now we Shredder! have Woo! <laughs> Yeah, now we have the good part, the fun part. inspired to explore your home mountain a bit more in the backcountry and as always make sure to always ski with a buddy yeah and bring your safety equipment and know how to use it practice 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 and then always check the every report and the weather forecast because you never know what's waiting yeah, yeah.